What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. So to round off where we left off uh, this turn, this episode should hopefully be the end of the Mughal Empire. But first of all, we have to take the city of Akbarabad. So we have to do, to do our uh, speedy, speedy assault strats because they've got a pretty weak garrison. But the reinforcing army could be a bit more frustrating. So without further ado, let's go and take them out. So the thing to bear in mind is they have got absolutely buckets of mortars. Loads of them. Which is good and bad. Um, oh, bit of a weird voice pop there. Uh, good because it means they've not got proper troops to hold the walls and hold the breaches and just do lots more annoying things. But bad because it means they're going to pound the hell out of our men as they reach the wall. So what we're going to want to do is attack from as many directions as possible to split their fire. This is excellent news. We have got the large style Indian fortress, which means we can just blow loads of holes in the wall. So my house is going to be there firing a quick line. Might even put more men going up straight in than I would normally do. My cavalry is going to be here up front as well. And then we're going to have these men trying to push up from the flank. Are you all hidden? Yes, good stuff. Okay, let's crack them open. You put a hole in there, you put a hole in there. You guys drop a quick line in the center with an idea of not necessarily killing the men in the, in the center but to try and damage some of the crews whoa what are they hitting ooh nudges my howitzer is actually within range so my howitzers do you need to focus on these howitzer units should be okay though although to be honest if they're focus firing my artillery I may want to push these guys up to try and buy them some time split their fire give them more targets native cavalry plus my Colonial Light Cavalry, you move up to try and provide some more tempting targets. You guys gotta make your... make your breaches. Get close. It's the 85th that's getting the bejesus shelled out of it. I might also move up my front line here to try and provide even more targets. No, go on, Gunners. Don't know why you're changing targets. The Howard's team's lost all their guns. Good. Progress is being made on the wall. But let's push. Look at these, look at all this artillery they're dropping on us. That is many, 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 many dead troopers. You guys made your breach, make another. Actually, no, let's get them both to focus on this right hand breach. Give 
no native warriors, mercenaries. Climb another wall. Native cavalry here is taking a taking a bullet for these guys. So you men, you've got to try climb. You can't afford not to. I need my artillery to focus fire this section of the wall so I can get my men in quickly. This unit can, yeah, take the capture this gate, and they're also going to run around and capture this gate. Friendly fire is kicked in here. Come in, almost. In, in, in. Go, 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 go. Everyone get in. You guys run around and secure this gatehouse. These traps storm straight in. Everyone else try and get off the walls. We made a second breach. Try and get some of my cavalry over here to hit the enemy, hit the enemy uh, howitzers. Didn't capture that gatehouse, that's good to know. The enemy general has been killed. All my howitzers, well the mon howitzers that can still shoot. Lots of upset, upset here. Get in here, clear out the centre rapidly. I even get my general in here. So you keep fighting the firelock armed citizenry. We do want to keep an eye on where they come from. We want to get a unit in the centre so we can start the clock ticking as soon as possible. We also want, to be honest, as many of our units to stop to finish fighting against these kind of troops and quickly dispatch them to the main combat zone. No, don't bother fighting up the wall. I don't want you to fight there. Come on, kill this garrison crewman so then I can push these guys out to also fight the this swarm of infantry. Get you guys in there as well. You guys clear them out. You guys hit those warriors. The, the cavalry. Ooh, they're coming in from behind our from behind our own defences. Get these cavalry over here to start to fire into the rear there. We've got a minute. If they go after my cav artillery, which it looks like that's what they are doing, it's a blessing in disguise. That buys us time. You men hold the, uh, hold the central square. For another 56 seconds. Clean out the rest of the gun crews. To be honest, you guys get over here as well. Ignore the men up there. And yeah, my artillery crews are upset. And run my general around the armed populace to take him out. Charge these guys into the rear of that combat. Charge these guys into the rear of that combat. 
There we go, and before the enemy can do too much damage with their reinforcing troops. We've got it. Look at these men, they're fighting against my troops in the breach doing a sterling job, but they did not expect the 42nd Regiment of Foot to come storming in from behind. There we go. So all this camel nomads that would be difficult to stop, elephants, elephant musketeers, all for nada. Got it. Completed it, mate. There we go. <laughs> we took, he took a lot of losses. But he really had to get in there quick. Understandably, the, the, uh, the people of Akbarabad do not like us one bit. Let's get us some replenishing. We, where's your university? Let's knock it down. These guys can stay where they are for now because, by my arithmetic, if we take Kashmir, which we can't demand the surrender, so we're going to fight it honourably, that will be the end of the faction. Then we can push all our men up to the Persian front and then storm those dastardly chaps then get ready to push our way through into Europe. <laughs> Attacking Europe from the north, the west, and from the east. My artillery can deploy at the top of the hill. My artillery is going to deploy here, but they're going to be firing round shot to prevent too much fratricide. Deploy a line of men to swarm, to push up and overwhelm the enemy. Push, push, push. The Eastern Garrison of Mortars is not happy. Armed populace, armed populace, infantry. They've got a couple of units of infantry mercenaries, but safe to say. They're probably pretty dead. So if I take these three units and spread them out like so on the flank. These units can probably do something like this. Even if they get into combat it doesn't really matter. Hello, Firelock Arm Populous. That's the job for my cuirassier. Surprise, fools! Ridden into by a bunch of French heavy cavalry. Alright, let's take these guys like that. Keep attacking them so they shatter. And yeah, they've attempted to intercept us, but it's not going to work. Most of their forces are broken. Let's take these men, push them up like that. They're shattered. The French regiment, regiment of horse goes straight into the back of the 22nd. These men are not doing so well. The armed populace have routed. The cavalry is still going to ride into them. You guys are going to... They're going to stop firing. There we go. And like I said, I think this means the Mughals are destroyed. The the enemy we've been fighting for so long. So, so long. Is gone. Our lands are free. Our lands are free. Doesn't mean they want to push up. <laughs> push troops up to the uh, new front line because the Persians are coming let's build the school here oh but look this oh this is, feels so good a land free and clear ready for the pure light of Louisiana knowledge and experience so some of our armies can march to the coast 
Although I've not got that many spares. It's probably a good idea actually to now do an infrastructure check just to make sure I've got all of my metal roads up and running. Those are all being repaired. And I think they're all pretty good. Well, this is it, we're on. We've got... I'm still holding on to Paris. If the, if the Spanish want to come near us, we, they can try it. Still holding Hanover, and it's a bit raggedy. So let's put these two units inside Hanover. Those five units can run over and annihilate these rogue Austrians. Forward, march. There we go. And valor unconquered. And march south, ready to go chase down this chap. Well, they got all the, there's a lot of cavalry. You men are two turns away from building your wall. Brandenburg is still recruiting a pretty dope army. March you guys down to Malmo. Then I can take third rate ship of the line. Still ship shape. Let us embark. Sail you down to Rostock. And the army can march south, ready to start to try and face down the Austrians. Uh, let's get one of these sloops into Malmo. To hold it, let's do a bit of building. Then we've also got this battle over here, which declare war. I don't care about your allies. Anything more? Take ready for battle. Ooh, they intercepted us. Um, but we're still going to shell the bejesus out of them. So let's do it. It's interesting that they elected to do that, but then I suppose if they didn't do that, then all that would happen is that we would just siege them, deplete them, and then annihilate them in one critical battle. Whereas now they do have a chance to uh, do have a chance to try and do some damage to us before the uh, before we actually meet on the actual battle. <gasps> oh, it's actually an it's actually a. Uh, Okay, well we know that's the reinf that's the proper army there. My colonial light, well to be honest, my cavalry engage the enemy. I didn't think it was an ambush. Oh well. Yeah. Now the warrior societies are could be a bit more careful with them. I definitely want my guard de corps in against the warrior society. These units take position on this flank of the guns. And then let's get my colonial lights in there as well. Okay, you guys attack them till they are broke, shattered. That's the word I was looking for. And then chase down the bowmen. And then my howitzers probably deploy them like here. Let's bring my cavalry back actually in case they attempt to try and intercept and do something sneaky. My light cavalry is more than enough to knock out those bowmen. But yeah, some ambush. What did you do? Well, we ambushed them. Sweet. Did you kill them? Well, actually, no. We just kind of got so close. And we tried to charge down cavalrymen with bows. Oh. Oh dear. My men are. T they're gonna be a bit tired, but. Come on, kill the bowmen. Then damage them enough that they don't come back. You men are limber. Let's put a unit of colonial light on the right flank. Our guards on the left.
you man on limber. Lost it. We lost it, Colonial. Come on, why are they not? Okay, good. At least. Okay, if you're not going to shatter, route. Good. Let's bring them back. Ooh, lots of targets of the tribal gunners. These men need to focus a bit more on the enemy coming in. Now oh, you men are going to do some good shooting against them. Let's pivot you like so. Two, two of you guys attack that target, you guys attack the chief's bodyguard that's coming in. Ooh, did not check where my howitzers were going to quick climb. Let's pick that unit of medicine men and that unit of medicine men. Charge my heavy cavalry in to knock out the mounted tribal gunners. It looks like they're going to beat our lights. Let's run my cavalry away because it looks like the general's bodyguard is trying to counter charge. So let's get you guys into square. Then run my cavalry. Alright, doesn't matter. Look at these beautiful targets coming in, one at a time. Alright, I see what they're doing. And I raise you. I reposition. Medicine men have gone. We've only lost two men and they've routed. Okay, let's bring my lights over on this flank because it looks like they need more help. Too bad about this engagement, we just managed to... <laughs> nice one. They'll be back. I mean, they should be back, we've not lost that many men. Coming in. There we go, wavering, just like I said. Medicine men have broken on contact. Oh my guard decor. Can you charge down that warrior society as it's wavering? Come on, regiment of horse. Coming this way. Good, the warrior society here is wavering. Run my cavalry through, because they've got to go support some of these other combats where they're a bit close. They're shattered. Come back and charge the bowmen. Well, they, they're unhappy as well. You men, just fall back, form line, continue to engage. The bowmen are starting to creep in and that's a good sign, because bows are rubbish. You guys stop shooting. Let the cuirassiers do their work.
Tracios versus Chiefs Bodyguard. I like their odds. No, I told you guys. I'm sure I told you all to run. Let you guys, let the guys with their guns take out the enemy. Looks like they're particularly keen on my cavalry, so let's just run around. Okay, let you guys fire at will. You can gun down the chief's bodyguard, it's serving as a bit of a meat shield. All my artillery switch back to round shot, which begins smacking some of these troops that are hanging around behind. Send these guys to come and knock out the medicine men. You guys should do a real number on the bowmen. Actually, I might just pull you back, to be honest. Ooh, they're wavering. Can make them... Okay, right. Chase them down to make sure they do... Actually, no, just get it back. You guys can reload. Start to really quick climb up some of these little scamps. So the Warrior Society really wants to charge my uh, infantry. Looks like their ambush has been a bit of a, a bit of a flop. Shaken, wavering, broken, shattered. Good, that's the word we want to see. So let's get my cavalry out to go chase down the medicine men. broken. Well, relatively. Let's gun my general into action. Because right now this is the their garrison force that they've... Uh, yeah. If this is their garrison, we don't want to kill the units. We want to damage them to, bring, to make them really low. So if we kill them, then they'll get new garrison troops. Fresh ones. So we don't want to kill them, we just want to de deplete them. All this artillery switched around shot and shoot at that garrison bow unit. Oh, a good bit of friendly fire on my guard de corps. Nice. So, like, 36 medicine men. That's pretty good. Got 40 native bows. That's pretty good. Let's get rid of some of these native garrison bowmen. See if my cavalry can do the... My cavalry and artillery can make... There we go. Make them rout, is what I was going to say. I'm going to continue. Just to deplete, but not necessarily kill. To be honest, I think the only cavalry unit I've got that's capable of killing a unit is this one, and they're not going to manage that. Okay, don't go for them. Go after this one with my other cavalry. Uh, charge the bows, but make sure they don't actually kill them all. Because yeah, it feels like that's going to be the best, the best way to handle it. If we kill a unit, they'll get a fresh garrison. But if we damage a unit and leave it like that, it will continue to exist in their uh, in their uh, battle, in their army. So you want to damage, but not outright kill. If these guys would work out where the edge of the map was... Let's run over here. There we go, that's like a sheepdog herding them away. Out you go. Damn right it was decisive.
Good. So we didn't lose very many men, many men at all. Actually, actually, it looks like uh, at the ready. they've really goofed up. Okay, let's do some building. Jesuit College, Henry, water power, cloth mill in the Americas. Top tier buildings, but let's upgrade the port. Lots of top tier factories, top tier ports. Yeah, the church scores are going to be critical to converting these areas into good Catholic lands. So this this spy down here that was currently just trying to kill that agent, uh, they are they've been killed. You can actually work on speeding up the conversion of these territories behind the lines. You as well, actually. No, we don't need you there. Let's get you here. Keep converting Mysore. Then you can convert... Well, Goa's already being converted. Then we can start to knock down these church buildings and replace them with... Uh, financial buildings. Industry buildings. Good stuff buildings. You guys combine... And this army can also push up to this dock here. Let's get some fifth rates being built. Because I can probably want to land maybe to go hit Esfahan and Zahedan as well. Got two forces in the north. Probably don't need three. Two will probably do. And two, I'll have two forces in the north, two in the south. The rest can all go by ship. Land in the gulf. Heroic death, one of my generals. But we've replaced him, and away he goes. And we've still got extra troops from cities that we've conquered, and then we've got armies like this that have just got that just got battered. Uh, let's build this into a church school. Keep the conversion going because we're still going to need lots of priests to push up and convert the Middle East. Denmark, Brandenburg, Gujarat, Rajputana. We do have. Persian army on the way. Theodore's, Theodore's our man in the man on the spot. Actually, let's repair the Subadar's palace. Let's replenish these men. Let's pick up a, a guard unit to go bolster this force. Workers on strike, but not anymore. Come on, where's the trait gained? Trait gained. Region captured. Do we not get a? Ah. Oh. They're definitely gone though. Yep. There's only a handful of great nations in the world and one of them's Britain and they own Courland. <laughs> Although they, well, they apparently they Britain is thought upon Apparently we think of Britain. Yeah, we're friendly towards Britain. And <laughs> we're friendly towards them when they are minus six hundred and ninety nine, minus five hundred and seven territory expansion. The Ottomans, we're very friendly. Austria is minus 476. Spain's minus, four, minus 555. It's pretty dope. Okay, let's... I mean, I've got... I'm not going to need... Well, certainly don't need that university. Let's hit N10. As my spies continue to push... I expect we will likely be attacked by the likes of Austria somewhere in our empire. Or they could push towards Paris, that'd be great. Uh, don't want to intercept. They're going to raid that. But I, or do I just get it over with? Minus 600 men. It just, ultimately, uh, if I didn't intercept them, I'd have to attack them manually anyway, so I may as well just do it. Ooh, don't want to fight near Dresden. I'd be tempted to say, I'd, ideally not, because I'd want, I'd want to build defences, but we've got a pretty good army here, and they've got a pretty repellable force. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, on that episode of knocking out, finally destroying the Mughal Empire, we can finally end. So... 
thanks for watching guys hope you've, hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time